Okay, kindergartners, today we have the letter Y. And the animal is an insect, a yellow jacket, which is kind of like a wasp and kind of like a bee. You don't want to run into these guys. So, as usual, you can use your, um, as usual, you can, um, you need your scissors, uh, crayon, um, pen, glue, and a trash tray. Okay, so let's see. Um, we, let's get our glue out. Okay, so I'm gonna set the, the gray one aside and we have our three parts here. Let's, oh, and I've glued the Y's on and I've already glued the words. Yellow jackets can be a nuisance around the pool and on a picnic, but they are good for gardens because they eat garden pests. So we might not like them because we don't want to get stung by them, but um, they, they are very helpful um, insects. Okay, so uh, the first piece part we're going to use is the black rectangle. I'm just going to leave these up here because as you see there's not very many pieces for this. So the black rectangle, remember insects have three body parts. So this is the middle part of the insect and it is um, the thorax. We're going to cut all four corners and hopefully when we're done it's going to be an oval. Magic cut it if I didn't already say that. And there we go. Okay, I am going to glue this um, this direction. So I'm going to put some glue dots on my thing and I am going to glue it kind of facing that direction on a diagonal. Okay? Now the next piece we are going to use is the smaller yellow rectangle and we are going to do the same thing. Cut all four corners and magic cut that. So hopefully it looks kind of like an oval when we are done. Okay, we are going to glue it in a um, horizontal position in to the um, black oval. So not like that, like this. Okay? And now we're going to do the um, yellow, the last yellow rectangle. This is the abdomen. So we're going to cut all four corners and magic cut each of those so it looks somewhat like an oval when we're done. Okay, now this one is going to be glued kind of in a vertical position um, in relationship to the thorax. So remember, insects, three body parts, one, two, three, head, thorax, abdomen. Okay, now the next one we're going to do is this long gray one, which are his wings. Okay, so we are going to fold this in half, like so. And um, fold it in half, and then we're going to take two corners, and we're going to cut those two corners and magic cut it. Okay? Now I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do something different to this side. I'm going to house cut this side. So I am going to cut right there and then I'm going to cut it right there. So I've got my house and then I'm going to magic cut the points on the sides of that. But keep that pointy. So you should end up with two pieces one that's rounded and two there and one side that's rounded and one side that's pointy. 
Okay, so this is going to get glued. Hopefully I can do this. So I'm going to put some glue around. Now it's supposed to get glued right underneath his um, thorax. And you glue the round side up here and leave the pointy side pointing away. So I'm going to put some glue, top, bottom, top, middle, bottom, and then I'm going to hope I can slide this under. Sometimes it's hard because I get the glue in the wrong place. Get the glue too close to the side. Ah, there we go. I had to peel it up a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of push it so it's going like that. Okay, there we go. So we got all those, all that done. We are done with the cutting part. Now we are on the um, pen and the crayon. Okay, so let's start with our crayon. And we are going to start with the um, legs. Now the legs would be coming out of the thorax, but I don't want to draw them across the wing. So, and remember, there's three that come out of this side and three out of this side because insects have six legs. So I'm going to start one right here, one, two, three. And then I'm going to go one, two, three. So it's like they're coming from underneath the wing. Okay, now the head is very interesting. So actually, let's do the antenna. One, two. So two antenna coming out of his head. Okay, so now for the markings. They have very distinct markings on their bodies. So for the head, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw two lines right down the middle and then we're going to color this in. And we are using the crayon. We will use our special marker last. So I'm going to color that in like so. Then I'm going to add triangles. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to add four triangles like that. Okay. And then I am going to color each of those triangles in. Voila! So that is the head. Okay, now the body is very interesting. Um, it has some very interesting shapes. So the first thing we're going to do is I am going to just kind of color the top of the abdomen. Right there. Okay, and then I'm going to move down a ways and I'm going to add a stripe. I'm going to move down again and I'm going to add another stripe and I'm going to move down again and I'm going to have three stripes. One, two, three. Okay, and then this is going to be kind of a diamond shape or a square and then I'm going to make another shape right here that's kind of more like a triangle and that is the yellow jacket. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to use the special pen. And the cool thing is we're just going to make um, small lines all over the wings because if you've ever seen an insect's wings sometimes, us like flies and bees, they are um, kind of see-through and you can see like kind of like veins in them. So that's kind of what we're doing. We're kind of making it and you just are going to go around and draw the different, just draw a bunch of short lines to show um, the veins of the wing. Then you can turn that over and you can write your name on the back. There we go, our yellow jacket.